Oh, that's even easier. Done. That's even easier. Done. All right, hold Great. on. Great. Got it. Boom. Garfield. Anyone who has ever watched this live stream ever knows this. I, don't I mean, know. you don't you, you don't have to put that many hearts in there, Steph. It's okay. Boom. <laughs> Got it. You don't you can use fewer hearts. It's fine. He's not that good, okay? Stockholm syndrome his way into your heart, okay? Stop it! <laughs> good, I got the point. Good, now let's move on from that question. One, One two, two, three, three. go. Duke. Duke at the pool went swimming. I beat Matthew at the, <laughs> the, at the gym! Duh! Yeah, that's it! How did we fall off? What? <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Mr. Darcy. Guess who, guess who wouldn't go with you to the gym? Mr. Darcy. Hello, Internet. Welcome to game. Hey guys, and welcome to a very special and very loving Valentine's Day here on GT Live. <laughs> oh! No way! <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> awesome! Oh, there's confetti ever catching oh, on your tongue! Oh, oh. Oh, oh, God, you went down my throat. Oh, oh it's just like that microphone lid. Oh. God! The thing that we wanted to do today, and we thought you would enjoy watching, uh, and watching us suffer through, quite honestly, <laughs> uh, is, is what we're deeming the relationship challenge. If you were born in, like, the 1960s or 70s... So two of you watching right now. Yeah, you might recognize this as a version of the newlywed game, uh, in which you pit a couple against one another to answer questions about their relationship. Or each other. Or each other, or moments from their relationship, and being embarrassed about their relative lack of me remembering those sorts yes. of things. <laughs> you are going to basically be asked a question, or more appropriately, one of you will be asked a question about the other one. Both of you will then write the answer on the plate. Don't cheat. And then cheat. you'll show them at the same time when, you know, you both have those answers Cheater down. We'll pack. go, and the answer is, and you both show. Okay. One okay. might say, I'm cheating on Stephanie. Oh. Oh, oh what? <gasps> Look at that. We have a score. Oh, my no! God. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this thing. You guys, you what? spared no expense. The paper plates <laughs> yeah. are one thing, but look at these graphics. You guys are forcing Dan into what? making digital assets what? for the show now. <laughs> well done, Dan. Yeah, this is did beautiful. Did you make this? I can't. Sure, I did. I'm you you so didn't make this. Did you have I, this? I worked so hard. <laughs> Dan didn't make it. You guys just ripped uh, us off of online. Great, so cool. Good. That's cool. No, I didn't. I made this. Question number one <laughs> is for Stephanie. Oh. Okay. What is Matthew's favorite, favorite song? Favorite song. <laughs> what Do you know what your favorite song is? <laughs> Oh God. <laughs> what is my favorite song? Uh oh. Roll out the barrel. Oh, oh, we'll oh, oh, I do know this. I do know this. <laughs> I do know, I know this. Is it roll out the barrel? Okay. <laughs> uh, Here you go. These are the two. Okay. Blue okay. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Okay, hold up. Okay, so I had Anything? Blue okay. Collar Man. Which, which is, is, which is a definitely song. a top one. That's a good Ballroom one. Blitz, which you've mentioned to I me have. many times. Uh, one More Dance with Mary Jane. I don't actually know what that, the real name of that song is, it's but Mary it's Jane's there! It's, I got that Close. one! And then four, I did Honorable Mention Anything by Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Yes! Yes! I totally yeah. got it! Uh, <laughs> that was really good. I'm glad they didn't ask what my favorite song yeah, was, because I don't your, even have one. I was going to say, oh, no. I, I was going to say, know. right, that would be my answer is like, does she have a? I would say. I like a lot of music, but I don't have. I, don't I know what I would I say. Have a favorite I know song. like genres. I would say for you. Oh. God, pillow. Sorry, Just, I love this pillow. <sighs> Give me the free so points. Matthew, who is Steph's character crush? Oh, okay. Oh, that's even easier. Done. That's even easier. Done. All right, hold Great. on. Great. Got it. Boom. Garfield. Anyone who has ever watched this live stream ever knows this. Yes, it's Garfield, Jason. Well done. Well, it looks like you got it. I mean, wrong. you don't you, you don't have to put that many hearts in there, Steph. It's okay. Boom. <laughs> got it. You don't you can use fewer hearts. It's fine. He's not that good, okay? He's the bad boy with a British accent who Stockholm syndrome his way into your heart, okay? Stop it! <laughs> Good, I got the point. Good, now let's move on from that question. We're done with that. Get out of here. Where was your first date? 
And what did you do? What are we qualifying as a date here? Is well, that's, uh, up, to that's you. up to what you guys remember to be your first date. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna do this one with no conversation. <gasps> one, one, two, two three, three, go. Duke. Duke at the pool went swimming. I beat Matthew at the, at the gym. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, that's it. That's hey, totally oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> that is the same memory. It is. The, that is the, the same. pool was at the gym. <laughs> yes, Duke at the pool went swimming. See, yeah, I beat what Matthew at What did we do? I beat Matthew at swimming. It's true. That was what happened. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thanks for rubbing <laughs> that one in. That was an unnecessary detail. You tore up my life. Mr. Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> We started at the gym. What happened there? How did we fall off? What? <laughs> Get out of here, <laughs> Mr. Darcy. Guess who, guess who wouldn't go with you to the gym, Mr. Darcy? This is another twofer. Okay. Oh, okay. What is oh, the geez. first game you ever played together? First game? game. Like, Wait, any type of game or video game? Any type of game. Any type of game. Ready, one, two, three, go! Lap t oh no, we didn't play lap. I, I wouldn't know. We did. Lies. Nope. So so my answer is here. Personality game. Okay, it does Dan's not like laughing. Okay, count. that's why I, I assumed we didn't count it. So okay. this personality game where I would ask Stephanie like goofy questions about her personality and like, hey, if you were a hot dog, would you eat yourself? But more serious questions than that. Our like, computer game so Matthew and I met and we programmed a video game together. We did but we never played it together because it was a single person game. Except for the fact that when we were, it's oh, a one, together, I see what you're saying. It's a one player but game, we, but No, friends. but we did swap games. So like we I was- We were never playing together. the same game together. Okay. One of the very popular activities on our, uh, on our campus during the first year that we actually were like friends and hanging out with each other was a game called Lap Tag. It was played with anywhere from 10 to 20 people. It Let was it a game, known. it was a big group, formalized group game where you sat in a circle and you basically wrestled people to the ground. In, in, in a nutshell. Let it be known that it's my goal to get a game of lap tag together with a bunch of YouTubers. I would love to do, it's, it's a horrendously violent game. It's really which, violent, and it's it, awful. And also like you're grabbing the other person and like manhandling them, this and that, which is why it would not be the first game I would have asked you to play. This is another one that is for one of you, but we're going to ask both of you. Okay. Ooh. Back to back. Yes. First, we're gonna ask you, Steph, what is the best gift Matt ever gave you? I know this. I know this. Is the gift of my love an answer? <laughs> oh, puke. Ready? Okay. Uno, dos, tres! <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! You did it! Yes! Yeah! Good job! Yeah! Good job! That's a good one. Okay, so this has a story that's, <laughs> this, wor that's this, worth telling. This has an intense story. So, Matthew, um, for those of you who, who don't know like the full extent of Matthew's academic achievements, um, Matthew is on... Matthew was in a program uh, at Oxford for a summer where he did a whole bunch of work in, uh, at that campus. And so while he was over there, I visited Oxford before um, and I had told him, when you're there, find this, find this tree um, that I had heard about and that I really wanted him to go visit sort of on my behalf. It's a tree that Lewis Carroll, uh, who's, who wrote Alice in Wonderland, and I'm a big fan of Alice in Wonderland, uh, it's a tree that Lewis Carroll used to inspire the poem, The Jabberwocky, if you've ever heard of it. This is a super, super nerdy thing. This like, this like plums the depths of my geekiness, you guys. And so I was like, I was like, I would love to see this tree in person. Can you find this tree? It's on Oxford's campus. Can you find it and take a picture with it? On and, Oxford's campus. And when she says on Oxford's no, that's, campus. That's what I'm getting to. Okay, so yeah. we quickly found out that this is not a tree that's just like out in some quad somewhere and you can walk up to it and take a picture. No, no, no. It's in a walled, locked garden that only like a couple members of the faculty and like certain people and like custodians on Oxford's campus actually well, have access again, to. You, this this so area I, I that's locked him, off to the public is only open once per year. I sent him to find one random tree in England while he was there for a summer and take a picture with it. And it took him all summer to find fire. someone 
to get him who could access. Get us access because it's only open one day per year and that wasn't in any of the span of time that like the program was running over the summer and so I had to basically figure out who to sweet talk in our program in order to like, oh, it would be great for you to t let, take us on a tour of whatever. And I had to like pester this guy over and over again to like make it happen that we could get behind this gated wall where we could take a picture of this thing. All right, so this next one then is for Matthew. What is the best gift that Steph ever gave you? <laughs> great. Her love. That count? Well, what is she gonna write down? Yeah, what gift? do you think she's gonna write? She write down your love. No. One, one, two, two three. three, go. Oh! Oh, journal entry's a good one, though. That's a good one. Shoot. Best g ah. We've talked about this one on the live stream where Stephanie, for my birthday, one of my birthdays in college. It was she, your 22nd birthday. Yeah, my t it wasn't my 21st. Um, but for one of my birthdays in college, she planned this like enormous get together where my room was filled with, but like my room was literally filled floor to ceiling with. Like, if you've balloons. ever seen Patch Adams, it was kind of like that where the room was literally floor to ceiling with balloons. I had five members of like the Duke's soccer, wrestling, and lacrosse teams blowing up balloons for like five hours with their like athletic lung capacity to fill Matthew's room with balloons. Yeah, so, th so there was that. Uh, Stephanie is referring to journal entries, which she got me for uh, Valentine's Day one year, where she, she she's a meticulous journaler. And... In, in my Historically. Yeah, historically. Yeah. You've, you've kind of fallen off the wagon. Yeah. But, I mean, we don't have time anymore. Yeah. But, uh, but it's one of those things where Stephanie w used to, like, meticulously keep everything in her journal. And I was always like, hey, I'd love to read some. And she's like, no, it's my personal journal. Like, hey, you know. Yeah, per back personal off, space. bro. Yo, Jeez. yo, I don't want you reading my personal thoughts. But for one Valentine's Day, she actually uh, typed some up. Uh, I think it was, like, four or five different entries documenting kind of like the early days of our relationship and kind of the thoughts that she was going through during those early days about like how this Matthew Patrick character is so weird uh, <laughs> and how he is questionably gay and blah 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 this and that uh, and so it, it's really funny it's really funny to go back and read but it was really awesome because you know it was a, a look into kind of her per it was it's a very personal gift and I very distinctly remember her giving them to me in the stacks of, co like in the stacks of the library in college. And you know, that way I was kind of in a quiet space all alone where I could just kind of like read them and absorb them. Yeah, if you looked at it from another direction, it was almost like a like a serial killer leading someone to, yeah. to be totally murdered. Yeah, that was, I was like, the alternative. I was like, yeah, let's go to the library and then let's go to this like really obscure part obscure, of the library. Yeah, totally obscure part of the library where they have these half stories so if you have like a, like your you know your first floor, your second floor, your third floor, and they had this one really like really set off section of the library where they would do half floors, yeah. and so I I so took I Matthew there, to no like the sixth and a half floor, and it was like totally totally quiet, and I left it and then I gave him like a basket of Valentine's Day candy and this set of journal entries. Which and we then, just found the other day, Yeah, actually. which we came across in a box and stuff. Yeah, I was digging through all my old stuff at, back in my house when yeah. I was over there for Christmas, and we found the actual journal where yeah. those are kept. If Matt only ate two items for the rest of his life, what would they be? Oh, okay. And go. 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 Sushi, Sushi ice cream! cream. Hey. I also said turkey may also apply. I mean, <laughs> that would be, uh, but I know it's a runner up for the sushi. Right. And I know that if you were going to pick two, you'd pick a main and a dessert. Right. So it's ice cream. Yep, there it is. There are only two options. Yeah, that was good. Awesome. Well done. That's great. Hey, yo. Yeah, nice. Yeah. That should be two points for Stephanie. If Steph was a Pokemon, which one would she be? <laughs> Steph, do you know any Pokemon? I, I, I. You can't no cheat conversing. like that. I do. Okay. Don't make me separate you. <laughs> Pikachu, watch them. One, One two, two, three. three. 
Yes! No way! Yes! Oh, <laughs> oh no, what, that, that's wait, awesome. What is that disclaimer? It's Evie. Okay, it says Evie, but I say would be Snorlax or Persian if she knew that they existed, <laughs> but. I she, wouldn't be a Snorlax. Oh. I mean, a Jigglypuff likely, but not a Snorlax. I mean, you God. still want to give two points for that? Man. Her, so <laughs> I'll, I'm, a, I'm a woman of my word. How are you? And this is again. Well, this for is for both, both of, of us. Okay. Down. How are you supposed to put cups away in the cabinet? Right side up or upside down? Go. Yes! <laughs> yeah! You know dust collecting in the glass? <gasps> right? Put unless, that sucker in upside down! There is one qualifier to this one, which is unless they are our Coca Cola cups in which case you alternate them because they have a wider flute at the top. Yeah. And so you want the wider flute to match up with the, you know. It's just too it's, satisfying not to like, do that. Whoop, it's that way. here, they're like. Yeah, they're, hold on. Hold on. We'll draw this. Wow, yours is so much better than mine. This is my drawing. <laughs> That's how I drew it. Yeah, so they look like this. <laughs> So you have to you have to have the one that's right side up and the one that's upside down so that they so that they puzzle piece together. Then we all know that you can't play without asking a question about Whoopi. What is Steph's favorite movie with Whoopi Goldberg? <laughs> yes! Oh. Yes! Oh, this is hard. It's not. This is a hard this is a harder question than you think. Oh. One, two, three. Yes! Nice. Uh, yes, you're at Corinne, one. Yes, and I was gonna say number two is Karina Karina. I, uh, run, run, I runner up at no it. points is Karina Karina. I didn't know the name of it, but I remember I was gonna describe it as <laughs> the one in which she takes care of the small child. And like, <laughs> like, I'm like I don't remember the name of that. It was just another one of those like family movies that make uh, you feel warm and fuzzy. So good. Yes! Steph, yes. what is the hardest thing to get Matt to do? The hardest. Okay. Yep. Oh man, there's a lot of answers there. There's a lot. Of, yeah. <laughs> All right, ready? ready? <laughs> One, two, two three. Oh, some. cut some. Cut some's good. <laughs> Pick up socks. And I said fart in a different room. <laughs> no points. <laughs> no points. No, no points. No, no points or respect. No points or. So you're right. Okay. So to this, be fair, Stephanie is right. On I cut am some. right. I'm I mean, right. You're right, but so so, cut some is is actually a short is a, a per, like a shorthand version of cut yourself some slack. So Matthew doesn't take enough time to take breaks, or he go he's pretty hard on himself, and he blames himself if things go wrong. If basically. Things that aren't his fault go wrong. He still blames himself a lot of the time, and so, um, so I, you know, we started telling, and, and I do this too sometimes, and so we started telling each other to, time. hey, cut yourself some Very slack, frequently. and it's shortened at this point to just cut some, and so we'll be like, and you'll be like, oh my gosh, what was me? All this stuff is wrong, and I'll be like, dude, you gotta cut some. Matt. Yes. What does Steph wish you'd stop doing around the house or in public? Either one. Ready? Okay, one, two, three. Singing loud, make it, yeah, okay. So I, you'll yeah. notice I said sing, and then, yeah, make a spectacle, because it, sometimes it's singing, but sometimes, sometimes it's, it's just Sometimes it's also like, dancing and flailing. Yeah, I was gonna say, sometimes <laughs> it's dancing, flailing, sometimes it's whatever, I have so. To, I have to say he gets a point for that. Yes! Because <laughs> that is what I was thinking of. Right, and you can absolutely see that I, I started saying sing. Yep. There it is, sing. <laughs> if Matt were an exotic animal, which animal would he choose to be? Exotic? How about just an animal? All right, fine. If Matt well, were any you animal, be normal and lame. If fine. Matt were a boring animal, wait, why are which we, boring why, animal why are we would you choose to be? How about if our relationship were personified as an animal? What animal would our relationship no, be I personified like the one, as? No, I know the answer to the first one. You also know the answer to that <laughs> other one, too. It's easy. A bear with eagle's wings. If our relationship were personified as an animal. Okay. I, well, fine, we'll do that. <laughs> If our relationship were personified by an animal. We got this. Well, you'll find out right. in three, two, one, go! Sleepy otters! Otters! Yeah! Yes! Specified sleeping otters. Yes, hey! Woo! Woo! Nailed it. That's so cute. Got it. Uh, since 
I don't know if you, this might be a viral video before your time. Yeah, it, pro it might be. But uh, in the early, early days of YouTube, one of our favorite videos was the classic video at the zoo of two otters who are both sleepy. Classic. Hold, holding, classic. Hand, holding hands. Yeah. And so, and then the one otter like drifts away. And then, and then they like, like drift back together again. And then again. he swoops around and you see him like looking over and then you see him like, <laughs> like, like reach over and like, like grab the paw. And then they like wind together. And then they They're funny. together. Yeah. It's adorable. So. And so, and so ever since that, it's always been kind of like one of our go-to animal role models or and, whatever. Like and no, it's otters. not Freddy Fazbear. Look at that! A really close score tonight, y'all. Yay! Yay! All right! All right. Woo! Woo! That was not nearly as embarrassing as I expected it to be. We passed. Yeah! I'd say we passed, right? Oh, that yeah. That was pretty strong. I oh, think yeah. we did pretty darn well. Great. So last Valentine's Day, we did a GT Live. Uh, and on that GT Live, we said we would tell, uh, I said I would tell a story of how uh, on one of our first dates, not our first date, which you now know is at a gym, uh, Matthew asked me to a dance and then abandoned me. Uh, so, <laughs> and we promised that we would tell it this year. So in a couple, like the first months that Matthew and I were hanging out together at all, uh, he asked me to the only formal event that Duke has, and we both went to Duke, the only formal event that Duke has for their entire year. It's a homecoming dance. It's called Broadhead's Ball. I believe they still have it. It's probably it's not like, called Broadhead's Ball anymore. Uh, oh yeah, because he's, not, cause the he's not the president. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, so it it was a it was a formal thing. You dressed up for it. Guys were in the the ties and the girls were all fancy and everyone's in heels. It's all it's very formal, right? And so he asked if I would go with him, and I was like, I was like, okay, like we're we're gonna go on a date. We're gonna go to this dance. And little did I know that Matthew had not designed it to be a date. He had designed it to be a group date get together. And he was an RA at the time. So when he showed up to pick me at my dorm room, he had like eight of his pimply freshman residents with you him. You were a date within me escorting my resident. Like and I was so the chaperone who had a date. And so we all became, so the two of us became freshman chaperones for all of Matthew's residents and they after I spent to this day. two hours getting ready. You looked for this great. Dance. You looked really good. So once we got there, in your coral dress, it was great. So once we got so there, because it was it was a black dress. But anyway, that uh, <laughs> yeah, was coral. It was coral. It that was, was your the coral next dress? year. That was the next year. Oh, you did it again. Ooh, you said yes he, a second he, time. He, he corrected the mistake the second time around. <laughs> okay. So once we got there yeah. again. I did not realize that I would be a chaperone for a bunch of 18-year-old guys who did not have dates and would be the only girl in the group of, <laughs> like, 12. Did you want to? Okay. <laughs> so once we got there, then, since it wasn't a one-on-one -on -one date, Matthew split <coughs> his attention 13 ways instead of one way. <laughs> and everything had to be a group event for the rest of the evening. Except for the times that Matthew broke off to go check on his ex-girlfriend who he was concerned Ooh. about getting involved with someone who was dangerous. Which was true. Which is he true. He was not a good guy who no. she was getting involved with. And this girl's very nice. And she and I actually were roommates for a little while after that. But anyway. But anyway. I was very He broke off from our non-date to go check on his ex-girlfriend. And, and okay, in my defense, though, to be clear, like... I wasn't, there's no I, defense here. No, there there's is a defense, no de which is one, <laughs> those freshmen wouldn't have gone to that broadhead ball if, if we hadn't gone with them. So we were exposing a bunch Somehow of Somehow they would have survived. I, uh, you true. were exposing me. <laughs> true, true, I could have maybe Don't made it a little bit more. Don't expose yourself to the youth. You gotta expose them! <laughs> uh, and then two, uh, it wasn't like I was trying to get back together with my ex-girlfriend or anything, but I was really concerned that this was one of the first events that she was showing up at, p maybe potentially with, with this kind of more dangerous guy, and I, I, I don't know. I was really worried about her, and you know, anytime you care about someone, you she don't want. She's a big girl. She can take care of herself. Yeah, well, bad. she didn't, and you know, fell into his clutches, and she. She's know, a very whatever. nice girl. Hey.
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this Valentine's Day edition of GT Live. If you want to see last year's Valentine's Day edition of GT Live, well, you're in for something a little different, but also something pretty fun. Click that, it's the box to the left, or make sure you click the box to the right to subscribe and join us for next year's Valentine's Day episode. Don't miss it, it's coming around again fast. Just 365 more days, <gasps> four, three, who knows when oh you're watching this. Oh my gosh.